Hello guys, welcome. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. Now we are in the last piece of the puzzle here. So far what we have done is we have uh, published our site, then we also kind of activated the site, then we also decided who all are going to be the members of the site. So we have said that okay, somebody with a profile of a community user will be able to access the site. Now the last piece is enable as customer. So now we know that anybody who is a customer is going to be under contact. The the customers of our iPhone accessories are listed as contacts. We want to make this contact enable them as customer. Now once you enable them as customer what will happen is it is going to create a user record for this contact and we can choose what profile we need to give to this user. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead. First thing is we'll go over to the contact object here and we will go to the edit object. In the page layout of this contact object, we will open up the contact layout and there is this button. The button is called as enable customer user. We need to drop this button in the mobiles and button actions, we need to, there is a button called enable customer user. We need to make sure this button is added over to this lightning buttons here. Okay, enable as customer user. So you can see here, you have this button called as enable customer user. So you can see we have this button enable customer user. If you have not dropped the button on the layout, please go ahead and do that. Make sure to hit the save. Now what will happen is anytime you go over to this contact, any of these contacts, you are going to see this button as enable customer user. Now what it is going to do, it is going to go over, let's say you open up a different contact. Let's say you open up a contact called uh, Jane Gray. The same button is available over here. I am a system admin, I am going to click on this button and what this button is going to do is this button is going to enable this customer, which is this contact as a user. Okay, so once I click on it, it'll take me to the user screen and it is trying to set up a user record. And here, the moment I can choose which profile to give to this user, so I am choosing customer community user as the profile. Now let's say one important thing is I need to change the email address. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it to my email address here. So that way or any email related information should come to this email and I have access to this email. And let's hit the save button. Okay, now I'm gonna hit the okay here. Once I do that, I did receive some error message, but that's fine, we'll see what the error message is. Here it is saying to create or update the users for this profile, go to set up digital experiences settings and select allow using standard external profiles for self-registration, user creation and login. Let's go ahead and copy this whole text. Now we are going to go over to the digital experience. This is exactly what this error message is saying, right? Then go over to the settings. So we are going to open up the settings. And here it is asking us to check this checkbox. This is the checkbox we need to check. Let's go ahead and do that also. So we're going to check this checkbox, hit the save here. Now we have saved it. One piece is done. Next thing is let's try to hit the save again. Let's see if you get another message. Now I got another message saying an account owner must be associated with a role to enable portal users or transfer portal user to his or her account. An account owner. So who is the owner of the contact? I am the owner of the contact. I'll tell you how. So if we went over to this contact. This is the contact we went to, right? Let's go back to the context again. And we go over to, I think it was Jenny, I believe. So let's go to this Jenny, Jane Gray, sorry. This is the contact we went to. And uh, who is the account owner? So what is the account? University of Arizona. Who is the account owner? Deepika. So I need to give this owner a role. That is where the error message was for. It says an account owner must be associated with a role to enable portal users 
or transfer portal user to his or her account. Okay, so that's why I'll go over to the user detail and I am going to edit it and I am going to make it myself a CFO, let's say, and hit the save. So this error message should not come because I assigned myself a role. Now let's go back again, enable the customer user and uh, let's go ahead and this is the third time. So let's say this works, okay? So I'm gonna use this email address. This is the username. This is the nickname. I am going to give this user a profile of customer community user. And let's go ahead and hit the save. The moment I do this, I'm expecting an email with the username and a link to set up my password. And through that, this contact will be able to access the site. So here I am going to go over, this is the email I gave. Make sure to check in your spam and all of those folders because sometimes those emails do come in your trash folders. See here, this is the one, iPhone, hi Jane. So this is the email and you can see here, Jane Gray got a username and this is the link to the password. So I'm going to open this in a incognito window and I'm going to set up the password for this contact. Okay, one, two, three, password and hit the change password. And you can see here when you change password, this is the page you have configured it to use this one, my tutorial rack, Salesforce enabled and change password. Now, this is a customer. I'm logged in as whom? I'm logged in as Jane Gray. This is how I am. And this is what I see. So Jane Gray sees how many cases? Jane Gray currently don't see. Let's see the cases. She doesn't have access to any of her cases. Okay. So she only has access to the things. She owns those records. Only those records are accessible to her. So I am Jane Gray. Assume this is the customer Jane Gray. And this is how this customer is seeing the site. And there's an agent offline, that's fine. Once you get your Omni channel available, then this is going to be available, okay? So now you have enabled this customer and this customer is now able to use the site. Similarly, whoever you want, whichever customer you want to enable for the site, all you have to do is you go over to that customer, basically you go over to that contact and you go pick up any contact who you want to give access to the site. So let's say next time I want to give John Bond, this is the customer, I want to enable this customer as a user. And I am going to give which profile because this profile only has access to the site. So customer community user, and I am going to change the email here and hit the save. Here, what I've done is I have changed the email address. This person should get an email now, okay? So now you can see here, I'm in the trash folder. Let's make sure we got an email, yep. And this is for John, and this is his username, and this is the link to change his password, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and open this link again in incognito mode. And you can see here, password. I'm going to set up his password here. Assume I am John, okay? I'm not system admin at this point, I'm John. And John has got the access to this site. And you can see here, this is John Bond. And this is how he sees the site. He got the access. So we created a site, we gave the access, we enabled it for our customers. And now whoever we want access, we are providing them the access. I hope this has cleared few of the things from related to Experience Cloud. We are going to do a lot more of these sites and things are going to be crystal clear. I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.